So like four hours ago, my parents just landed on the island for the first time since the hurricane. Yeah, they're back for the first time. And um, I wish I could be there, there with them to hug my family, um, but this is, a, this is a good consolation prize to be here with all of you. This is really an honor to be here with all you beautiful, magical people. Um, so you may already know, but on the island, there are so many dead that the officials um, declared that, that you can burn your own dead um, because the coroners cannot handle all of, all of the, the corpses. Um, I, I remember a, a month after the hurricane, there was still family I didn't hear from. And I remember that anxiety and that pain. I'm sure many of you felt that too. Um, but I got all the calls that I was hoping to get, but I know that there are people who did not get the kind of call they wanted to get. Um, there's a lot of pain and we got to sing the pain too. So that, that's what this poem is going to be about. I'm glad I'm going early so we can cleanse the palate with some happier stuff. But this poem is called Puerto Rico is Burning Its Dead. Sequelas de Maria. A lariat of subtractions. Aguadilla is enkindled. Coamo is immolated. Twelve cadavers found but only one permitted burial. A wall of blank epitaph strangulates every province of flotsam. The carrions of San Germán form a pyramid of cinder, siphoned through loopholes expunging each loss from public record. Mayagüez has become a crematorium. Cut off from their prescriptions, the seniors are enlisted to clog the aqueducts with their extremities. Puerto Rico is burning its dead. The grief-stricken ashes are expelled data offering the brass contrition. Crippled funeral parlors obliterate forensics, the sky replete with muted quarter tones of mourning townsfolk destined to live as smoke. All accounts of the aftermath have been redacted for the foreign press. Those with capillaries woven into the gardens of San Lorenzo and Las Marias drown themselves in unlit waiting rooms, unsure if hearing the names of the vanish will ignite relief or calamity. There is a burning if they make the list, a burning if they continue to exist without punctuation, their numbers stifled by vulgar ingots that refuse to comment. Oxygen is put on the black market. Bones are used to hold up infected roofs. Unidentified remains get poured like concrete into the lungs of the public. Dialysis stations stalled. The filing cabinets wielding death certificates have disappeared into the rapids. Tonight, Tres Picachos is nine feet closer to the exosphere, boosted by the monolith of undocumented bones accruing at its saddle, the basin retooled into an oven to incinerate the unmentionables. While smoldering, they debate if it was hurricane or insouciance that induced this disaster. The air is an autopsy of the unfed, the parched wounds left festering in Aguas Buenas and Port Isabel as the head office determines what is a person and what is collateral. Clouds cover bawling electrical lines, typecast as severed umbilical cords. Puerto Rico is burning. It's dead. Forever exhumed, grieve over the phalanx of survivors. They plead for definition, for cause, for first responders. A single overheating generator must keep the whole nation treading. Alihu Root's brood goes virile, caustic. They ask the departed, are you carcass or rumor? This pyre of a colony left to singe the eyes of all witnesses from Sierra to shore, converting kin into ether. A double ghosting crowned by an auction, disaster spun as plum with financial prospects. Puerto Rico is burning its dead. The subcontractors have walked off the job. The bereaved keep counting, keep foraging, keep shipping rations home, keep combing coast and summit for every disappeared tia. Keep mourning the brownout like Aurora Borealis. Thank you.